Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at what happens when you have some extra data in a worksheet making it really, really large. Now I've had the situation where some files have ballooned from say 60 odd kilobytes to 58 or 60,000 because of this issue. On this worksheet, there's actually only a small amount of data. Let me just make it smaller and you can see that it's a very small amount of data. But over here on the slider bar, on the scroll bar, it's telling me that there's a lot of data in this worksheet. There isn't, but it's telling me that there is. I would also say this if I went to print it. So if I went to file print, I would see here that there's 37 pages and they're all empty pages. So things are not good here at all. So the simplest way of solving this is to go to where the data finishes and my data clearly finishes here. So I'm going to select the row immediately below that, 93, 94, 95, doesn't really matter. I'm going to hold down the shift key and with the shift key held down, I'm going to tap the end button and then I'm going to tap the down arrow button. And that's going to take me to the very, very last row of the worksheet. And what I'm going to do is just delete everything. So I'm coming up here to delete sheet rows. Now, you can see that that hasn't actually solved this problem or it doesn't seem like it solved this problem. So we're going to make sure that we clean everything up. So I'm going up here to my data again, I'm going to select columns. So I'm going to select a column away from the edge of my data. Again, I'm going to hold the shift key because that continues my selection process. I'm going to tap the end button, the one with END on it. And once I've tapped that, I'm going to tap, in this case, the right arrow key. And again, that's selecting everything in the worksheet from where my data was finishing up to the very last column. So I'm going to go to delete, delete sheet columns. So if I press control home, that takes me back to cell A1. So even though I've removed all the data that shouldn't be in the worksheet, I've still got this slider here. So the solution to this is to save this. So I'm just going to save my worksheet. I'm going to close it and I'm going to reopen it. And when I reopen it, you'll see here that the slider, the scroll bar now just shows the full range of my data. So you need to do a couple of things in this circumstance. Firstly, you need to delete the columns and rows that are likely to contain data, everything that's sort of immediately outside of your data area. And then you must save your file, close it and reopen it again. And the process now shrinks your file down. So this file is going to be considerably smaller in physical size. The scroll bars are going to function correctly. And when I go to print it, we're only printing two pages, not 37. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.